welcome back to my youtube channel please if you are new to this channel subscribe like and comment and please always come back to watch my videos i do appreciate your support so today i was in town and uh, i brought to some restaurant and i just wanted also to to take some to eat some lunch so what happened in that restaurant is <laughs> so funny in that restaurant it so happens that uh, i don't know whether people are learning how to eat chinese food from that restaurant so in that process when we are eating from the restaurant so uh, they brought these chinese uh, sticks the chinese stick the chinese stick for eating is it they call it chopstick or i don't know how they call them so people there's somebody who was trying to <laughs> to eat with the, the chinese stick i don't know the chopstick so <laughs> the guy was holding like this then he does he does like this so i don't know how <laughs> that is how they eat using a chopstick or a chinese stick so me as a person who <laughs> who didn't want to get ashamed <laughs> because in the table they bring those things they bring a, a chopstick they bring uh, there was a, a fork and a spoon and a knife so and also those chopsticks are there so <laughs> this guy was using it like this and you know when you're holding how they cut our meat how they chop chop our meat here in uganda uh, somehow they are big so the guy holds the meat like this the thing falls down at the end of the end of the day the man ended up pouring soup on himself so it is what has really amazed me today when i brought to that restaurant so you know sometimes as africans let us first behave like africans let's not start behaving like we are chinese so you know also this hand also you can eat with it and get satisfied but there are people who think that they want to try everything now you try and you get ashamed. Uh, you know, if it was recorded and posted, I think that video was going to go very, very viral. Very, very viral. So that was the end of that man eating. I don't know whether he paid, the, but he must have paid. But he, I didn't see him coming back inside the restaurant. I didn't see him coming back inside the restaurant. So... And of course, you know what happens when people are busy watching you and you are not realizing that people are watching you. So it became um, something that is now uh, a joke. Uh, people started making fun of it and yeah, after him leaving. So let's learn to behave sometimes when we are... Uh, <laughs> in areas and you know yes we need to try these things but sometimes eh, we need also to behave mm -hmm. so that is what happened to to that guy in the restaurant and uh, yeah <laughs> it happens to him i hope one day it does not happen to you so i'm just bringing this story maybe it can it can help some of some of us also to behave when you're in the restaurant actually when you're in a public place uh, there are some things that you, you know, me, I prefer trying things first of all from home. Yeah. Maybe uh, if at all, I'll have to try using a chopstick. Maybe uh, you first see, you uh, try using like this, a pen and something from home. Yeah. Because the, you cannot go to the restaurant and start doing like this, like this, like this. Yeah. And meat is falling down. Then you end up pouring something on your body. Yeah, it is shameful, totally shameful. Yeah. So, and you know, there is a, it's a, it is a bit funny, you know. Uh, by the way, you can look at somebody who is a big, very, very big, and, and you're like, but there are big people who behave like kids. 
when they are when they are in public places even when they bring food somebody just start quaking with that eh? then you wonder wow, what is what's wrong with this person he has not eaten a whole day or or something or something is wrong eh? there are people also go to the uh, to to these public places and eh? When they bring food, you are just there like you have never eaten anything. Hmm? When you are going somewhere, else, first you get some kajuis you take and before going to places to shame yourself. You are putting on a coat. You know people, by the way, here in Africa, somebody who puts on a coat is uh, well respected. Actually, if you are putting on a t-shirt, and somebody who is putting on a coat comes, or if you're moving together, uh, a person who is putting a, on a coat, and you is not putting on the coat, and they pick seats, they'll give it, the first seat they will give out, they'll give it to the person putting on a coat. So there is a value they attach to it here in Africa. I don't know wherever you're watching me from how it is, but is the worst bit of it now when it goes to villages when you come to a fu for a function and you're putting on a coat they value you however funny your coat is but they value mm. so but now you look at somebody going to the restaurant and you're pouring soup onto your body that you're using a chopstick let's try to behave maturely in the community mm. let's try I know you want to learn, you want to do it, but also there is the other, the other part of you are shaming yourself. So now, which one would you prefer? A shaming yourself or, or trying it and, eh? Eh? or not trying it? You know, they say, uh, there is a saying that, uh, is it you better try something than not trying? I don't know how to phrase it properly. Mm? That never fail to try, something like that. Yes, but now, where are you trying it from? That's the question also. Where are you trying it from? Are you trying it to to, uh, to show others that you you are the one who knows how to pour soup on your body? Mm? And you're a big man putting on a coat. If it so happens that uh, he or she is watching this video, please, me, I'm telling you that you change the way you behave when you're in public. Not really part soup on your body. How do you, I don't know how you went home. If you're using a taxi or I don't know. Mm. At least somebody will see see that you part something on your body. Even when you reach home, yeah, somebody at least will notice it that something was wrong with you. Mm. So let's try to behave in the community. These Chinese things are not easy. Yeah. The chopsticks they are not easy. Mm. How to handle your over like this? Uh, see some people like over the. Over, it's a bit. It's tricky. It looks uh, like it is easy, easy, but. Eh? It will shame you. Eh? Use a fork. There is a fork on the table. Eh? Why don't you use a fork? Eh? Use a spoon to get some. Now, how will you get um, rice with this? Here in Africa, how will you get rice with it? Eh? This uh, rice that sometimes they cook when they're scattered, how are you going to get with this, these things? Mm. Then you end up pouring things on yourself. Let's, let's stop shaming our body. Eh? Shaming your people and the rest. Use what you can use. A fork, a spoon, a knife, and, and leave the chopstick for the Chinese. Mm. There is no day you'll change from Africa to become a Chinese using a chopstick. There are those ones who have stayed there, they know how to use it. Please, if you have liked this video, um, please comment, share, subscribe, and please always come back to watch my videos. I do appreciate you. So, I don't know if this is for us. we have learned something from this video. So, let's learn how to at least accommodate to use what we can use and let's avoid shaming ourselves.
thank you so much for turning up and uh, today I was uh, I'm not feeling so well uh, but I was like uh, let me uh, come up with, uh, to make this video of what happened to me uh, what happened today in the restaurant in town and I just wanted to pass this information out you never know it can be important to help somebody or to, to, to learn how to behave in the community you see there are people who learn in a hard way but let's not learn in that way let's try to behave ourselves and I wish you the best have a blessed 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 day thank you so much for turning up please come back again and please remember to subscribe thank you